Hi everyone, I'm Kat. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make graduation cupcakes. If you haven't ordered your kit already, you can from candylandcrafts.com. For today's class, you will be needing some chocolate, buttercream frosting, pastry bags, a knife or an X-Acto knife, a fluted cookie cutter. If you don't have a fluted cookie cutter, a regular cookie cutter will be fine. A little dish of water, a ruler, a 1M tip. If you don't have a 1M tip, that's fine. You can use any star tip you have. A paintbrush, some powdered sugar or cornstarch, and you will be needing white fondant, gold fondant, black fondant, and red fondant. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna show you for your graduation cupcake toppers is how to make your little diplomas. So you're gonna need your white fondant for this. And you're just gonna wanna knead it to make it all nice and smooth. And then we're gonna roll this out. And you're gonna wanna roll it out fairly thin because we want it to look like paper, right? And the paper's not too thick. So on your mat, if you don't have a mat, make sure you put your cornstarch or powdered sugar down to help it not stick. Get out of the way. And I'm gonna roll out my white fondant. I'm gonna roll out as thin as I can. It's pretty, there we go, pretty thin. And then we're gonna cut it out. You can get, use a ruler for this if you need the help. If you don't want it to be exact, that's fine. You can just freeform it. And either using a paring knife or an exacto knife, whichever you have, or um, we're gonna do it one and a half by one and a half. I also suggest making your cupcake topper decorations the day before so they have a chance to harden up on it for you so it doesn't make it so hard to work with and then then like as if you were gonna roll up cinnamon rolls you're gonna start at the end you're gonna tuck it in and you're just gonna gently roll it up as if you were rolling a diploma so you get that spiral in the middle and then you can just put it to the side. And then while you have the white out, you can cut out your fluted discs. On these, I'm gonna show you how to either write class of 2020, you can write congratulations, you can write the name of the graduate on it. Um, also, the color preference is totally up to you. I'm doing gold and white. If you wanna do it in a different color, that's up to you as well. So again, with your white fondant, you're just gonna roll it out. You don't want this to be too thin. You want it to be a little bit substantial. Let me add more fondant to mine. Need a little bit more. Just roll it out. Not too thin. And then taking your fluted cookie cutter, you're gonna cut out the disc. If you don't have a fluted cookie cutter, that's totally fine. You can do a plain cookie cutter. I just like how the fluted looks. And you're gonna cut it out, and then we're gonna put this to the side. You can add a little cornstarch or powdered sugar underneath it when it's drying um, to help harden the bottom and not stick to your mat or wherever you're drying your fondant pieces. Now I'm gonna show you how to put the ribbon on your diplomas. So you're going to take the red fondant and you're going to roll it out fairly thin again. You don't want it too chunky. As thin as you can get it, okay? And then for this one, you're basically, you're just going to cut thin strips into your fondant. So 
you're going to take one of your strips and one of your diploma rolls. You're going to wrap it around the middle of the diploma. So what I do is I take the full strip and then kind of measure it out and then I cut off the excess, tilt it up, and then with your finger just gently push it together. I, you can do this when your um, diploma rolls are a little bit harder so it's a little bit easier for you to work with. And then what I do is to get the little bow on the top, I take part of a thin strip and I cut it into like just a smaller strip. And then you, starting at the ends of each, you bring it in towards the middle and in the middle again. It's a little long on the one side. So what you do then is just trim it You're gonna bring it to the middle. Your finger just gently push it so you get like a little bow. And then you're just gonna put it right on the diploma. If it's not sticking that well for you, you just put a little tiny dab of water and it will help stick the bow to the other fondant. And then you got your little bow on your diploma. So now I'm going to show you how to make your little graduation caps for the top of your cupcakes. Again, you can do the graduation caps in whatever color you would like, your school colors. This is all preference. Um, so we're going to first do the top of the cap. So you're going to roll out your fondant. And the top of the cap is going to be a one inch by one inch square. And then for the bottom of the cap, we might as well just cut that too. It's going to be two and a half. away the fondant. So what I like to do is with the top of the hat I like to let that actually dry upside down because this helps keep the top of the hat nice and flat. And then with the bottom you're gonna just stand it up on its side and then you're gonna close it and just pinch the seam together gently. You just want to blend it nice and gently and then you're gonna put it on the bottom of your square, just lightly stick it together. If it needs help sticking, just a little bit of water. And then if your square gets a little wonky, just push the sides back in with either your paring knife, the ruler, just the flat side. And then you're gonna let this dry. You want it to harden up a little bit before we put on the tassel and the button on the top because it will sink in a little bit. So this helps just keep the top nice and flat while it dries. Once your hats have slightly hardened, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take out your gold fondant and you're gonna roll it into a log. It doesn't need to be that big actually, a smaller log, because this is gonna be our tassel on our graduation cap. So. So you want to actually have it kind of taper off at the end and have it kind of fatter on the bottom and then what you're going to do is using either a scoring knife, paring knife, whatever you have, you're just going to gently push into the fondant to give it the appearance of the tassels that come off the side of the hat, graduation cap, excuse me. And then you're just going to have it bend slightly 
Sorry, it's a little off focus there. And then if these are a little too hard and the fondant's not gonna stick all the way, you can add a drop of water on the top and you're gonna push it into the center of the cap. Don't worry, if you push and it goes down the way, you can stick your finger into the bottom of the hat and push it back up so it straightens back out. So again, you're gonna take your fondant, I'm gonna roll it off, roll it out, kind of like a log, but you want it to taper off a little bit at the end so it's a little fatter on the bottom. And then using your paring knife, exacto knife, whatever you have, you're just gonna gently push into it lines to look like tassels. I like to kind of cut into the bottom a little bit to give it more of that like frayed look as if it was really tassels hanging off of your graduation cap. And then a slight bend and push it into the top of the hat. Again, if it doesn't stick, just a little dab of water right in the center. So you can see what it looks like. So while you do actually have your gold fondant out, I um, you can cut more fluted um, cake toppers for this too. Again, this you can put class of 2020, 2020 on it. Congratulations, the name of your graduate. You know, this just helps um, with the melted chocolate. I'm gonna show you how you can write on the top of them. You're gonna wanna make sure they're hard before you write on them. It just makes it easier for you to pick up. I um, did this one ahead of time. Um, it drew, it drew, it dry, <laughs> excuse me, overnight. So it's nice and hard, I can pick it up. So it'll make it easier to also write on. And again, if you do not have a fluted cookie cutter, that's totally fine. You can use a regular cookie cutter. If you don't have a circle cookie cutter, you can use like a dish, flip it over, cut it out, a cup, whatever you have. And then I'm just gonna cut it. And then again, I'm gonna put some powdered sugar or cornstarch underneath it when it's drying. It's about that thick. So the final step in making your little graduation caps is you're going to use your black fondant. I roll it out into a little log and then I'm going to cut little pieces off and then those little pieces we're going to roll into little balls just into the palm of your hand and then you're just going to gently flatten it so it's going to be like the button on the top of your graduation cap. And then again, if it just tilts down, just push it up a little bit from the bottom gently. You don't want it to crack. Now I'm gonna show you how to write on those plaques that we got. So you're gonna take your chocolate and you're gonna melt it down 30 second intervals for the first two times and then 10 seconds after that if it's still not melted and you're going to need one of your pastry bags. You have two just in case. I actually took mine and cut a uh, big part of the top off. It just helps it um, uh, just to be smaller and easier to handle when you're writing on it in chocolate. Once your chocolate's melted, just make sure you mix it a few times to make sure any lumps are out of it just because it will get stuck in the bag. If the chocolate is a little too thick for you and you feel like you can't pipe with it, you can add a little bit of coconut oil or vegetable oils to drop or the Paramount crystals that Candyland sells into your chocolate and help thin it out. And then you're gonna wanna put it into your pastry bag. So before you actually write on the fondant plaques you made, you can practice on a piece of parchment, wax paper, a plate, whatever you have. So you're gonna cut your tip off your bag get it it's gonna be fairly small you don't want a big tip and then I always trim the little side and then just crease the bag back the other way it just helps keep it around so what you're gonna do is you're gonna squeeze gently and you'll see the line come you're gonna to want to lift it off the paper because if I squeeze it and try to write it on the paper it gets more jagged and wiggly and if I do it too fast it comes out wiggly even more so you're gonna want to gently squeeze and drag so when you're writing 
I'm gonna start by squeezing out my chocolate, picking it up, moving my hand where I'd like the chocolate to go, and letting it just fall in place. I personally like to write in cursive, so you don't have to. You can do in print, so you could just see it. Okay, you can also use your other hand to help guide your writing hand in the chocolate and just on a piece of parchment like I said just practice it so you get more comfortable for you you actually put it on top of your fondant plaque okay so on this plaque I'm going to write class of 2020 Again, if you don't want to actually write it in chocolate, you can write on top of it also in royal icing. Just make sure it's a stiff royal icing that when you pipe it out, it doesn't flood everywhere. And also with your chocolate, you're going to want to make sure that it's not too warm so it actually stays in its place when you pipe it. And then again, you can write their name on it. You can write congrats because it's kind of small, um, just 2020 on it, whichever you like. So again, I put Izzy, that's my daughter. She's not graduating, she's only six. Um, 2020, class of 2020, you did it. You know, any message you would like. Uh, just remember that it is a small cupcake size, so it's kind of got to be short and sweet and to the point. So the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to let that harden, and we are going to pipe on top of our cupcakes with the buttercream. Oh, I'm sorry, from before I said that you have two pastry bags just in case you mess up with the chocolate. Totally forgot that you need the other pastry bag to pipe your icing on top of your cupcakes. If your chocolate does harden um, in your bag, just um, you can get a little bowl of warm water and just stick it in there and it'll help soften it up. If you do microwave it, to soften it also, just take your time. And then if it gets hard at the tip, just push out whatever hard chocolate gets stuck. Okay, now we're gonna ice our cupcakes. I'm using a one millimeter tip. I'm going to cut the bag and put the tip in and then you're going to fill it with your buttercream. Okay, so you're going to start with your tip in the middle of the cupcake. Keeping pressure, you're going to squeeze and you're going to spiral out. This is also how you would pipe a rose on your cupcake, an easy, simple rose on your cupcake, um, using the one millimeter tip. But I just think it looks nice. And then, so you're gonna pipe all of them onto your cupcakes and then we'll put our cupcake toppers on top. I'll show you one more time. Start in the middle, constant pressure, and you're gonna spiral out. So now you're going to put your fondant toppers on your cupcakes. So for your plaque ones, you can just put it right on the top. You can place them on gently, or you can tilt them up like this, total preference. And then for your little caps and uh, diplomas, I like to just put it kind of like a little tilted and the diploma right next to it. And tilted diploma right next to it. And there you have your graduation cupcakes. I hope your graduate likes them and congratulations to all the graduates. Thank you for making graduation cupcakes with me today. I hope you had fun and congratulations to all the graduates out there. If you have any questions, you can reach me on Instagram and Facebook at Pastry Mama. Have a great day.